Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, when it comes to you guys, with a brand new video, and I'm excited to bring you guys some tips and tricks on the new game mode that Call of Duty Ghost has brought us, Blitz. Now, that is the game mode, and I will get into it, and I'll pretty much tell you guys what it is and how it's played, but then I'll get into some tips and tricks that you guys can use yourself to be really good and uh, do well. Now, this map is actually called Prison Break, and I'm using the Honey Badger with Red Dot and Armor Piercing. That's the two attachments. Armor piercing uh if you guys don't know since it's kind of a new attachment name but we've seen it in past call of duties the effect basically the effect is uh it, it has higher damage at long range and stuff like that it has higher damage it overall it gives the gun higher damage so really it makes the gun more op and uh i'm using the red dot because i do like the iron sights on the honey badger as much of course you could replace it with a muzzle or something like that and uh, you'd be just fine as you guys can see I just scored a point now you guys are probably wondering how do you play this game now it's actually pretty simple how you play this game now as you guys see I just dropped shot like a boss right there but basically you have two two flags or uh, I guess two points to teleport two teleportation points now one is the enemies and one is yours now pretty much the one uh, that is yours you have to stop enemies from going into it basically what you do is just walk up to it like a capture the flag game and you just go and it teleports you back to your spawn now that means you scored a point for your team so say see that see where it says goal on the map and on there and it's highlighted in red so pretty much what you do is you would go up to it and uh, you would uh you just run you don't press no buttons or anything you just run straight to it and once you're on it it will teleport you back to spawn and that will actually count as a point now blitz is a really cool game and uh they took out ctf capture the flag and they actually put in blitz and i'm surprised why they did this but i can see why they replaced it because this is a really great game mode so that's how you play and also you again see the blue flag uh that's our that's your flag so basically what you want to do is you want to have a couple people or maybe the whole team if you guys are a load of campers but um you just stand back there and you what you do is you have to wait for uh you have to prevent people from actually getting in and there's actually two rounds it's pretty much just like capture the flag and uh out of the two rounds whoever scored the most wins and i'm 10 and 0 right now like a boss i got on a pretty good streak i'm using specialist i believe i could go on a 15 streak but then i eventually die which sucks but uh can't do much about that now see you switch sides and uh pretty much there's an overtime if like say you guys tied but uh pretty much there's two rounds just like capture the flag and uh whoever has more points at the end of the two rounds is the person who wins unless you tie then i haven't gone into tied mode yet but i'm assuming what happens is uh there's a flag in the middle and like maybe the first person get there or the first five people or the first five captures now it's not op where your whole team can jump on the flag see if you guys didn't notice before you guys can rewind to the other gameplay or rewind back into this gameplay um you it actually as soon as you get or some or an enemy gets into your uh teleportation place flag i guess you could say it actually you have to wait 10 seconds before another person can actually get into it and score another point for the team so it's not op where you could have a group of guys just all come and score six points just like that because that would be a little bit op and not fair at all now i'm gonna get on to the tips and tricks of the side of blitz now depending on what map you're playing of course if you're playing a medium to long range map of course you're gonna want to use an assault rifle i recommend the honey badger that is actually what i'm using right now this is actually an assault rifle it feels like an smg but it has the long distance of uh an assault rifle and it has the mobility of an smg which i love you can drop shot jump shot do all that great stuff so pretty much if you want to defend the flag i recommend going with an assault rifle or maybe even like say you can get a sniper rifle and get somewhere where you can camp a little bit more back and uh get a good line of sight on the teleportation flag that would also help tremendously now what you could do if you're rushing of course you could put an smg on put on some marathon put on some uh gym perks and if you guys didn't know what that is that's pretty much how uh, that's how the perk system works i might get into that soon and uh, that's how you can um do that and uh, go for the flag because that really helps in smgs you guys will notice it smgs running with smgs and running with um assault rifles there's a huge difference running with smgs and uh pistols pistols you're like a freaking maniac and then when you just have your knife out you run literally 
really fast. You run as fast as the Maniac Kill Streak, so that's pretty insane. Now you're just running really quickly, so that might help. Maybe give you a little tip right there, but um, that's pretty much how you play Blitz, and that's my tips that I have for you guys. Use an assault rifle or a sniper rifle when you're defending, and uh, use an SMG. And we lost 10 to 16. I want a little kill horse there, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, and uh, if you enjoyed, again, like I said, leave a like. Comment down below what you guys think of this uh, Blitz game mode. I love it. I think it's a great replacement for Capture the Flag. All right, guys. Peace.